beautiful aromas of a classic Cuban kitchen are coming alive in Brooklyn thanks to Miami native Ricardo Barreras here at Pilar in bed -Stuy. Ricardo, your parents came here from Cuba and you were raised in Miami. Your family actually played a big role in supporting your love for cooking. Yeah, they got a kick out of it. Everybody would give me cookbooks for Christmas, pasta makers, you know. You were probably the only 14-year-old in your neighborhood with a pasta maker. Probably in all of Florida, <laughs> I think, yeah. I would have cooking parties with my friends. At 15, we were cooking for like 20, 25 people. Wow. It's just always in my blood. That's how you know you're doing the right thing now. Yeah. You and your wife, Lisbeth. The first restaurant you guys had was not that big. Yeah, it was literally 380 square feet. That's the bathroom, the kitchen, <laughs> the eating area. Yeah. I mean, that's everything. Uh, we expanded and we got a really beautiful spot to blocks away and that's where you are now right here yeah. continuing to bring authentic Cuban flavors to New York City something you really don't see a lot around New York All right you can't find Cuban bread you can't find Cuban pastries I know New Yorkers would really appreciate it and they have now we're here in a much larger space and opening a bakery next door well, now that you've got more room, that means you can deliver more Cuban flavors that you grew up on. My grandfather was the one that really loved cooking. Eventually, I started cooking with him, you know, the classic arroz con pollo. But your grandfather had a little bit of a twist. Instead of wine, it takes beer. Ah. And I was at the age where, you know, it's <laughs> like, hey, abuelo, give me a little sip. And he's like, no, your mom's around. So when she would disappear, I, you know, I'd get a little. So I could really yeah. see how you fell in love with That's cooking now. That's actually pretty typical Cuban culture. Well, it obviously paid off because the arroz con pollo is a beautiful dish, and it's Cuban style. We use a short grain rice called Valencia. It's more like a risotto. Right. And then we use real saffron from, from Spain. And the beer actually gives it a really nice flavor. Residual juice around the side. Ah, perfect uh, for fall and winter. Yeah, That's no, sure. it's for sure a hearty dish. Another key ingredient you have here is your chorizo, which you make in-house. It's a family recipe. We smoke it for about 24 hours. One of the dishes that it's most prominently featured in has to be your beautiful paella. Yeah, the paella is one of my favorite dishes. Fish stock, shrimp stock, mussel and clam stock, garlic and seasonings and cumin, and then you spike it with saffron. The chorizo leaks out, it's a... Uh, a smoked nice pepper yeah. pork fat? Yeah, it's amazing. Yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Another dish you use your chorizo in very creatively is your boliche, where you actually stuff it inside brisket. Yeah, saute it, put sofrito, put red wine, house beef stock, cook that for hours with rice and beans, it's amazing. The boliche started as a brunch special, but now it's become so popular, it's actually a regular item on the dinner menu as well. It's back by popular demand. The dish I'm most excited to try, and probably the dish that Cuban restaurants get judged on the most, it's your Cuban sandwich. We gotta see how this thing gets made. Let's put you to work. I'm ready. It starts off with the Cuban bread. Very airy. Yeah, it almost doesn't even look cooked. It's darker than that, it's really not traditional. The mustard, the pickles, the roast pork. We marinated in the sour orange and garlic and spices, very seasoned. The ham? It's not a deli ham. This is a Polish smokehouse I've been doing it for 40 years. A yeah. regular Swiss cheese. Get it into the press. Let's do it. Look at all these beautiful layers of meat, cheese, pickle, mustard. Feel that crispness on the outside. You did a good job. <laughs> that crunch. Yeah. A little bit of everything in every bite. The crispness of this bread. Yeah. That is just unlike anything else I've had anywhere in New York City. Yeah. That's magnificent. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfect sandwich. Come on down here to Pilar in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. There's so many amazing dishes you can share uh, or not. You get to eat this all the time. <laughs> this one's for me. <laughs>